Well, we're back. Testing more cheap injectors. These are from Amazon, so Jeffrey Bezos special. These were like $187 for four 1,000cc injectors on an H22. Let's see how they test out. So right out of the box, comparing them to a standard H22 injector. Uh, the body looks very similar, and this one here has had a little nipple broken off on the bottom for inspection. Uh, but you can definitely tell that the opening, where's my camera lens? There we go. The opening is much larger. <laughs> I think that the factory ones are like 225 or 290 CC, whereas these are supposed to be a thousand. I'm not worried about whether or not these are actually 1000 CC. What I'm concerned about is going to be spray pattern and how balanced are the set of four. They look good. They look like they're pretty decent quality. Um, I don't like this rubber is like a really good quality rubber. The O-rings are nice. They're, they're not like hard, brittle, um, kind of like Teflon style O-rings. So I have high hopes for the spray pattern. I mean, everything looks very clean, very well machined. So let's go ahead and start slapping these guys in here and see how these perform. Now I'm going to be testing these right out of the box. I'm not doing a cleaning run first. I'm not doing none of that. I want to see if you were to buy these and you don't have a test stand with an ultrasonic cleaner, how well are these going to perform? Now I'm not expecting these to be, you know, perfect injectors, but if they're within, I'd say 4%, they're probably safe to run. All right. First thing we're going to do is a leak test. So Gonna start that. Let that build up. Oops. Well, something's leaking on there, and it's I don't think it's the uh, the injector's fault. I think there might be something wrong with that O-ring, maybe. Didn't seem to seat right. Yeah, it appears that it might have rolled. Let me see if I can get that in there again. That O-ring's not really wanting to behave. All right, so after messing around with it, I finally got that O-ring to seat right. And now, when we bring up the pressure, we're at 60 PSI. I don't see any drips coming out the bottom here. So that's a good sign. That means that each one of the little needle valves inside is seating properly. Go ahead and close that, and we'll stop the leak test. We'll go ahead and go to a idling test and we're going to see how these things perform at 60 PSI. Or, you know, we'll probably drop it down to like 50. Helps if you plug them in. <laughs> these have really good tight uh, plug connections. I like that. The, the eBay ones that I tested in the first video, they were kind of loose. They're very, uh, very sloppy. These have a nice snug fit to them. So already better than the eBay ones. Let me get you a much better view with this angle and we'll go ahead and start the idling test. So idling, they have a decent spray pattern. Uh, pulse width adjustments at 2.0, I think that's milliseconds. Just gonna let that run. I'm gonna turn the pressure down to 50. All right, so starting out, we are at just at 20, just under 20, just under 20, just under 20. So this is more like, what would that be? So that's two, four, six. That's like 17. That's like 18. And that's closer to 19 and that's 20. So already not looking great. Um, now I did not let it purge the air through the line. So it's possible that that had something to do with it. Let's go ahead and reset it and we'll try this again. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to a medium speed test. Start it out. Let it get up the pressure and close it.
Yeah, I'm seeing a big difference already. So I had to stop that. Uh, this is now at 100. This is at 12 below. That's at 88. That's at 90. That's at 94. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, you, you get what you pay for, right? So right now we've got a deviation to max of 12%. It's possible that that's because the pulse width is so short right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump that up to six. We'll see how that changes things. Because let's be honest, your pulse width is never gonna be at two milliseconds. Maybe at idle, and honestly at idle, it's not that big a deal. The spray pattern on these looks way better than the eBay ones did. Now that's looking much, much better. Wow, okay, so we're at 98, 97 and a half. This one's a little low, this is at like 92. And that one's at 96. That's pretty damn close. I, I am very impressed with that. Another thing I noticed is that the pressure really dropped with that higher pulse width. I mean, of course it will. The damn injectors are so massive compared to stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the pressure whenever I start this thing. And then I'm going to close the, the stopper here. So that looks like it's averaging around 40 PSI, continuous pressure. So consistently, this one here is definitely lower. This one's a little higher. That one's, so in order, I would say most, most flow, second, very close third, and then fourth. So right now, at that higher pressure rating, we're at, on this one here, 94, that's 88. So let me break out a calculator real quick. So that's a 6.3% difference max. Guys, I'm really liking that. And honestly, I think that these are gonna be good enough to run. Uh, the next thing that I wanna do is, I wanna check out the high speed and just check to see if under a high RPM, uh, there's any, you know, severe lag in between the needle valves that are inside there with the solenoids. So we're going to go to high speed. Set the pulse width to like four. That's the max that I can set it to for this test. That looks really good, guys. Like, I, I think we have winners here. Um... I'm I'm gonna go as far to actually link these in the comment section below. These are way way better. I, I mean, the eBay ones were like what 15% difference. This here under high speed, which would be high load, high RPM, we're at 97, 96, 95, 95. That's close, guys. That's really good. I am extremely impressed. Uh, just to kind of give you an example, I have some old injectors here out of a, uh, I think these were out of a Prelude. And they were functioning just fine. We didn't have any issues with them. Uh, after I cleaned them, they had a good spray pattern again. I'm gonna hook these up and we're gonna compare to see how different they are under the exact same settings. All right, exact same settings with factory injectors. These are used injectors too. And let's see what we get to. It's a much, much finer spray pattern, but I mean, that's to be expected on these uh, smaller injectors. Also, I did realize just now that 
I did not burp it. Starting it over again. All right, now that that's settled, we're at 85, 84, 84, 84. So clearly stock Honda injectors have a much higher uh, balance quality than the Amazon injectors. However, you notice that I let this thing run its entire one minute cycle and we're not even at the 100 mark yet. Whereas the other ones I've had, had to stop early. That's why you have to go with the 1000 CC injectors or larger injectors in general is because you'll never be able to get enough fuel out of your injectors when you're running a boosted application uh, with the stock smaller injectors. I can go a little boosted. I could probably get maybe at most eight PSI out of these, but in my build, I'm trying to get up to two bar, which is just a hair over 28 PSI. Um, I will never get what I need out of these. That would I would have to get, in theory, three times the amount of fuel as what these things are currently putting out with a uh, non-turbocharged tune. And that's if you have zero resistance to your intake manifold. Um, which we know is never going to happen. So yeah, these injectors, let me see, do they have any paperwork with them? No. They have a, a barcode here on the side. Topaz. It says made in Germany, or it just says Germany. Or, yeah, it says Germany, but then it says made in China, so I don't... I don't know. Maybe they do quality control in Germany. I mean, it, it's possible that that's what they do. And, uh, you know, if that's what, if, if that's the case, it shows, you know, the quality with the balance with these things is fantastic compared to the eBay ones. Uh, I'm pretty sure the eBay ones are probably just cranking those things out in a factory and they're just throwing four in a box, four in a box, four in a box. And they're claiming that they're flow matched and hoping that you just don't have this to check. And a lot of people don't have this. And what ends up happening is if you have one injector putting out, you know, 100, 100, 100, but this one's only putting out 80, well, now you've got a cylinder that's running completely lean all the time. You're going to blow that cylinder out. So, yeah, I'm very impressed. And I, like I said, I will be putting a link to these down in the description. Um, I'm not going to say that they're guaranteed for life. Obviously, longevity is something that I can't really test here. Uh, unless I just plan on sitting in here for six hours and <laughs> running these things nonstop. But I think that a good way to tell is just going to be throw them in the car, start tuning for them, and see what kind of numbers we can get out of it. I'm really curious to see how much I have to turn down the injectors uh, on my fuel map compared to what they're currently at. And I'm really curious to see if I can still get a good clean idle out of it. Probably not. I might have to bump the idle up a little bit to kind of get the fuel flowing or the air velocity flowing more, but we'll find out when we get there. If you guys like these kinds of videos and you want to see more of them, let me know in the comment section. Um, I have like 14 subscribers right now. Awesome. One vid. We're doing great. Over like a thousand views. And uh, I'm currently working on uh, the rest of the video for the electric air conditioning system that I'm putting in my car uh, to make room for the turbo. I'm, I've basically taken all of the vital parts of the car, except for the engine and transmission, and put them in a place where they were not designed to go. Batteries gone. Fuse panels gone. Alternators gone. AC compressors gone. Condensers gone. Like everything, everything that was in a certain place in the engine bay is gone. <laughs> so, uh, be looking forward to that. It should be coming out probably within the next week or so. Um, I'm still waiting on some parts to come in. And uh, yeah, it should be it should be a pretty long video. I might even break it up into a two-part series. So catch you later, guys. Pinky's out. We do not fuck around. Because we have already found out that in order to stand out from the shitboxes, you gotta keep it classy. Pinky's out, boys.